Hey there folks, this is Hugo and your Nomadic Gamer, and today we extend our reach into the outer worlds. Exactly. Intellectualism fuels the train to mankind's future, but the tracks the train runs on are forged from practicality. What? what? <laughs> yes. I'm with Ellie on that it's one. It's as though the good vicar has plucked the very words from my brain. Alright, so what do you mean to do about it then? Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. Ingenious plan? Don't get me wrong, I'm starting to admire your sand, but I bet you could overcomplicate a sisty sandwich. <laughs> what a charmingly roguish turn of phrase. Allow me to express my thanks at your confidence and assure you that my plan is indeed sufficiently complicated. <laughs> and if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. In what way? I don't know. I like looking at her. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's go with this one. It's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Wait. How long did this take? Not long, but the devil is always in the details. What you mean? And the salient detail here is a Bolt 52 cartridge. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Okay, so what is this Bolt 52? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Never realized fighting the bureaucracy could be this interesting. <laughs> it is quite the rush. Yeah, I bet. So where? Where do I find In the this? old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. These days it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Why are you saying it that way? Saying what? Which way? Okay, listen here, bugger. <laughs> arms. You're saying arms instead of arms. That's just what it's called. It's supposed to stand for something, but I forget what. Alright, alright. I'll see what I can do. Good enough. I know when to settle. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Okay, that's more curious information, but I've already been in this conversation for far too long, so bye bye. Let's get out of here. Hup. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see what else. I'm looking for. Whoa, whoa, put it down, put it away. Looking for Grim? Grim? Grim, are you here? Are you Grim? No, you're not Grim. What about you? Are you Grim? No, you're not Grim. Where's Grim? Is there a Grim here? There's a toilet. I don't need a toilet. I need a Grim. Where's Grim? If I were a Grim, where would I be? Oh, wait. I'm talking. I'm looking for Grim. I'm looking for you. I'm looking for you. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. <laughs> I could do that, but no, I'm not going to do that. Um, let's just go this way. What are you talking about, Catherine? Sorry. Seems I got my cables crossed. Thought you were another shakedown tough from Fallbrook. All right, so no quest for her. All right, see you later. All right, so let's come out here. Worker, okay. Help! So 
Someone's been killed! Okay, no, not here. Hi. No, not put that away. I think I'm gonna be sick. Why? I clean the apartments while everyone's at work. I've seen all sorts of messes, but this... If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. Okay, then. Did I become the cop here? When did I become the local uh, police force? What is going on here? I'm gonna go get a dead body. Lower right? <sighs> Look at this place. It's in shambles. Oh Not my much goodness. I can do for this guy. Uh, uh, it's so horrible. Oh man. Looks like he got tomato paste all over him. What the balls? It was that. A magnum. What's this? Uh, let's see. Betting slip. Increasingly bold wagers. Mostly colonists. Okay. So possibly killed over a bad bet. Too many debts. What's in the bag? Ragged outfits, same cut and color, stuffed into a suitcase. More bits. Oh, that's it, huh? That's all I can find for clues here? That's kind of lame. Okay, both of you get out of here. I'm gonna close the door now. Alright, we're here to look for somebody. Nope, you're not the somebody. Whatever you do, don't mention crossbow. You? It says you're Laura. I'm looking for a Bennett, I think. Resident, resident. There's nobody here. Ho oh, oh. ho. Nice. Gotta go quiet mode. Ooh, look at that rifle to Mark II. Ambidextrin. <laughs> Shoot it in your snoot. <laughs> Whoa. Right. Steel, 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 steel. And the rest will leave. Cause I actually I'm not trying to take too much. I don't know, maybe Laura is the person I'm wait. Is that not the person I'm looking for? Stay out of my things. Laura. Laura. Startle me. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? Oh. Didn't mean to scare you then. What? Okay, so the Braxton guy ain't here. Uh, let's see. Wait. Wait, he was outside, right, the yacht club. Dagnabbit. Right, you're the guy who was screaming about the dead body. Where? Saint Shuren. Right. 
Wrapped mask and canid eyes, right here. Look who's talking. Hey. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in a raptodon tongue? Or maybe some canid toenails? You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts? No. Um... Wait, why would I want any of that? I don't know. Celia usually buys whatever I have, and Mr. Pickett seemed real interested. So I thought maybe I was onto something. Would you consider going on a date with her? Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount, hmm? Don't get me wrong. I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady. Always talks nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit. On account of no one else having any use for raptodon tongues. No one has any use for raptodon tongues at all. Hmm. I'm not bribing him. Forget that noise. <laughs> Let's go for this one. Persuade him. You sound pretty sure. And she is awful nice. Okay. I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. Very right, cool. Why are you so close, man? Wait. Now, where are the balls? I've been in here. Oh. oh, I found it. Hi. Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. <laughs> Careful there, Abigail. Quite the bedside manner, lady. Well, it's so rare I get the pleasure of new company. <laughs> what can Auntie Abigail do for you? Let's see. Medical. Bam. And what a helpful young man you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. <laughs> Whiskey helps, too. Please leave medical advice to the professionals. <laughs> now, dearie, who's this pick up for? <laughs> oh, I don't know, Auntie. You ought to pry that ticket from my sweet little cheeks. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, that'd be great. Uh, I don't know if I could I mean I could lie and say there for me which is uh, see I don't know if that would be if that would actually work because I'm not a resident you know let's give it a shot anyways I'm so sorry but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stella Bay residents. Mm, gotcha. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? Oh, it's a terrible shame. Oh, that's just awful. Isn't it just? I'd make an exception for you if I could, my little cherub. Is there... Anyone else needing a special pickup from Auntie Abigail? All right, well, let's let's, let's go with this one. Oh, her. <laughs> wow. It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI, contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much, <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. Right, right. Uh, let's see. If so, I would love to know where. Sublight supplies don't come cheap. I'd hope not. Fleecing's the mark of a real professional. Believe me, there's nothing I'd love better than to help you. But there's not much I can do. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. Okay. Uh, let's see. Wow. I don't want to lie. I don't want to persuade her into doing that. And I don't want to intimidate her. So we'll just... Uh, I'll, I'll Get see you later. Up, dearie. Bye, Auntie Abigail. Guys, follow me. Come on. We gotta go over here. Keep your trap shut.
Alright guys, we got it. Let's get out of here. I want to thank you folks for coming by to watch my videos. It means a lot to me. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to support more of my content, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. Maybe start a conversation in the comments. Now I publish content every Tuesdays and Thursdays, but if you feel like you need an extra reminder, go ahead and click that notification bell. And until next time, folks, peace.